your neck. Okay, okay. go. Hot squall. Ye one hot, then squall and teeth teeth. Nathan, Jochemia, Kishaman, Alice and Queen Sna, Tenachin, Kla, Homalchison, Ochomeo, Skohot me show. On one hot squall and Eothen, Sequetos. So, good morning, everybody. My name is Allison. My ancestral name is Jochemia. I come from the village of Capilano from the Squamish Nation. Feels really good in my heart to be here and all my relations. Thank you very much for joining the Squamish Lowat Cultural Center's live video today. Today we are going to be making medicine bags. And because this is the perfect time for harvesting different materials, dandelions, or other buds that are coming out, I thought medicine bags would be a great opportunity to share with you today. And we're coming live to you from my house. <laughs> I miss the Cultural Center in Whistler dearly, but we do understand that even though our doors are shut, our hearts are open. So we're very excited that each and every one of you will be joining live with me today to learn how to make a medicine bag. If you can let me know where you're visiting from, put it in the comments and let me know. I would love to hear or read where each and every one of you are joining us today. So thank you so much. I do have an example of a little bit of a larger medicine bag here and I do have a nice uh, string that we will be making something similar to this piece here today, just a little bit smaller. And each and every one of you are your own artists, so I'm happy to see what you completed after watching this video. So if you have the opportunity of sharing that with us, please let us know. Tag us, put it in the comments, or just email me. <laughs> But I'd love to see the outcome of what each and every one of you are going to be creating. I do have leather and this is deer skin leather. I have a, just a beautiful small piece of red here. We also have our handy dandy hole puncher. So that will make it very easy to get the holes through the hide here. A small piece of string which we'll be using to weave through our holes that we create to cinch the medicine bag together. Beads and feathers are optional to add a little of your own personal flair and pizzazz. And of course I have some scissors here as well. Everybody ready? So, the first thing that we need to do is get our leather material out here. For those of that, you that don't just have buckskin like I do at home, I do suggest using a, a stronger, thicker material, something like an old pair of jeans you can cut up, and that will work in place of the buckskin. I do have this piece here, which is roughly the size that we're looking for. And as I don't like to waste when I'm working with my buckskin, we'll try to find a nice area where we're not going to cut away too much. That looks great right there. Using a marker, I can actually mark out my rough dimensions here. There we are. So I just put a few marks on the rough side of my leather because this soft side will be the external part. Got my scissors here. Until we get to our marker. Hi, Opie. <laughs> 
Here we go, keep cutting. For those of you who've been watching some of my live streams or watching the recorded versions, you all know my cats love to come in and say hello. So now I'm gonna connect my cuts together. Away our excess and there we go got a nice little rectangle to work with here this shiny nice soft side will be our outside the rougher side will be the internal piece and what we're gonna do now is we are going to fold our piece not quite all the way to the top because that'll be our flap And from here, for those of you who notice that it's not exactly straight, you can then trim it like so. And then just making sure that my edges are nice. Create a little pouch just like so. Looks like this one needs a little bit of a trim. If you have clips, if you have um, safety pins or, or paper clips or chip bag clips, you can use it to hold your leather in place when you start to hole punch it. So this hole puncher that I have here is on one of the smaller settings. I have multiple different settings on the on the hole puncher here. So we just move it to the setting that we would like. When I'm holding my medicine bag, I like to hold it here because I don't have any clips. And that will try to keep the two layers that we're going to be punching the holes through so that they're in line. So this one I've punched the holes out and when we punch it they will line up on either side so that we can then easily weave our string through to cinch them closed. You can be a little bit more um, which, what's the word I'm looking for? Symmetrical. If you do use a marker and create guidelines. And I generally like to start with one at the top, right about there. Then I like to go one at the bottom. And then I like to go one and two. So we have four holes that we will be punching on the one side. There we go. One. Two. Three. Four. We're going to continue that on the other side. Making sure that our holes stay lined up. Flip it to the other side. We're going to carry on. Pinch out. Hot mouse. John up. a little bit so I'm just going to line it back up for Kohotsin. There we are. We have our medicine bag with all of our holes in there and you could leave the top like so or if you wanted to add on a little bit of a, a string here for our for a closure to make sure that it's locked in place. 
going to fold it in half lengthwise. Do a nice hole here and that it will be in line with itself. And then we'll come back to that. At this point, this is when we're going to need our string. And if you don't have buckskin lacing like I do, then you can use uh, other material string that you have around the house to be able to weave your bag closed. There's a few different ways to do so. And the way that I'm going to show you today is this spiral version coming around the edge of our medicine bag because if we just wove it up and down the medicine bag would tend to sag and I can show you what that would look like it still works it gives a bit of a different effect so we go up through the back to the front and then back down so, and back up through the other side. So just like our weaving, back and forth, up and down, like so. Oh, there it comes. So that's one way that you can make the medicine bag for the weave. The other way is to start again from the back side through the front hole, giving yourself some room to work with. And if you have a blunt end like this, I suggest tapering it and that becomes uh, more of a needle that you would be able to help ease your way through the holes that we've created. So now that I've came from the back through the front, I'm gonna wrap it around back to the back side and come up again from one to the other and that will wrap the outside so that it stays nice in line continuing all the way through all of our holes round and round she goes And the last one, there's one side, and the other side. There we are. Make sure it's nice and tight, leaving a little tail to add your personal flair. You can work with the other side now. Starting from the same back side all the way up to the front side, giving us room to work with, leaving this here so that that area can be wrapped around your head to wear as a necklace. Because when you're out harvesting, your hands are busy. <laughs> so, again, taking my string, wrapping it around from the back side through the holes, up to the front, and continuing this process all the way to the bottom. If you wanted a tighter wrap, you can make more holes, make them closer together. You can use larger pieces of leather, smaller pieces of leather, or whatever material you're working with to make a variety of different bag sizes. From here, just going to pull and get a little bit more slack, so it's a little bit longer, and maybe I'll do a little bit longer here, and I'm just following myself so that I can actually cut off a little tail here. <laughs> hey, Opie. <laughs> 
One now. Thank you. One. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our top flap of our medicine bag here. We're going to fold it over and we're trying to see where the holes are going to hit on our front facing flap. So right about there is where they hit. So that means I can go and do another hole there and another one next to it, like so. You have a small little piece of leather that comes through one of the holes, up through the other hole. When you bring your flap down, you can align them with the holes. And do a little tie. And that way it's locked closed. If you have some beads or some feathers you would like to add in, we can take some of the beads we can actually put them onto our leather pieces here in whatever sort of pattern or interest you would like. And then from there, you can get some feathers or you can just leave it, tie it off with no feathers and place them inside the beads. Well, I did one side, so I'm going to match it on the other side with a few beads. So again, if you are joining us now, please make sure to put it in their comments where you're visiting us from. We'd love to see how people are are learning about the different things that we're doing so make sure that you post pictures in the comments as well and as the cultural center in Whistler is a not-for-profit cultural center if you're looking to support us in different initiatives with our crafting videos or other pieces feel free and go to the www.slcc.ca website there is an area where you can donate or buy a membership. There's also multiple beautiful resources in that uh, backslash from home section where we actually have multiple different pieces that people can continue learning from home. So those of you who aren't able to join me live today, this video will be saved in that section of the website. So there we are. We have our very own medicine bag and I have some feathers, some danglies, some colors. This area was left open so that when I'm out harvesting, I can wear it around my neck, add stuff into the pouch as needed. And medicines could be all sorts of things. They are something that makes you feel good. So if you're out on the land harvesting and needing medicinal plants from the land, you can place those in there. Sometimes people are out collecting rocks and there are special, <laughs> there are special rocks that may be medicine for the soul and you may want to keep them close with you. Some people have also told me that they use their, their, um, medicines that come from the pharmacy and place them in here as well. So possibilities are endless when you, as your artist, can create multiple different things with the techniques that I've shown you today. So I really appreciate each and every one of you joining me today live. And on behalf of the Squamish Lowak Cultural Center and all of our staff, we wish you happy crafting. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.